all. Today is the last our Magenta Admin 2 review video and today we will review system section and find partner system extension. Let's start probably from the small ones, which is find partners and extensions. It's kind of uh, what we used to have with Magenta Connect, and here we can find partner search in Magenta Marketplace. As I know, Magenta Marketplace will be changed soon, and the sections might be changed as well in the next Magenta version. So let's go back to the system menu. It has data transfer, permissions, other settings, extensions, tools, settings. So we will start from the data transfer. Here we have import, export, import, export tax rate, import history. So this is a section where we can import or export Magenta feeds. If you want to use existing one, we need to specify the, what we want to import and then import from our CSV file. If you want to export, we need to specify what entity type we want to export and export at the crisp and respond CSV file. We can also choose if there is custom extension, something where we can export any other format. Same thing we can do with stack rates. We can import and export them instead of making brand new tax rates. And if we did export or import something, we can see our history where we can see what was made and download export imported file. If you have our extensions and extensions use so calls or they use web services and they dependable on authorization which required access token then we will see them in the integration menu item currently it's same because we don't have any extensions pointed to the our monitor store tools tools includes cash, ma cash management everybody knows that we need to claim cash if you do some changes Magenta 2 actually have different view for the cache. Uh, if you don't need to disable cache, you maybe need to refresh one because Magenta cache a lot. Magenta 2 cache a lot. Backups. Here we can stop when we want to have backup or we can make it right now for system backup, database and media backup or just database backup. Index management. We not able to update our indices, it used to be at Magenta 1. It usually happened at the midnight. So over here we can set how indices updated, do the update when we save product or by schedule using Chrome tab. But definitely indexes it's very important in the Magenta 2 and we can also update them from the Chrome tab or SSH access and get our latest result. Web setup wizard. This is something what we used to have as Magenta Connect for installing the extension. As I understand this tool more completed and Magenta team will add more features to it and from what I understand it is the place where you will install new Magenta extensions for your Magenta 2 web store. Let's go back and continue on system menu. Permissions, all users. Here we can see all users at the, our web store. We can see locked users and we can set up for admin users some admin roles. The all roles and roles options, they are same as was in Magenta 1, so you shouldn't have it issues with it. Other notifications. Here we can see all notifications which come up from Magenta, like new security pages or something like this. We will be able to see those here. We can mark them as read or remove them. Custom variables. 
here we can set custom variables for our static blocks or any other blocks where we have to use custom variables to make sure they allow the magenta and they won't be blocked like security issue. It was done at magenta 2. Thanks for the latest part. And also we can manage encryption key. We can generate one or we can change existing one. Usually when you install Magenta, Magenta gives you encryption key. So it's where you can change it or work with it. So basically this section is sounds like more general and it sounds like it has a lot of settings, but we can see that it's more general settings of Magenta system and all settings which, which used to be at the Magenta configuration or system menu they used to be moved to the stores or any other section so this is the last hour tutorial I hope it was power it was great experience for you to find out what we have at the Magenta menus or what we can click what does it mean I know that some of the areas we didn't describe more detailed but if you're interested in, please leave comments and we will make another episode exactly for this area so thank you and have a good time